Okay, so I've got something here. I haven't been able to upload in a little while because I've been busy, but I've got this frozen, frozen up unit. So, the problem with this one is that the drain line doesn't go into the and like into the, the, the city utility drains like in the sewer, it, it's something else. The drain line comes out right here. Let's see, right down there. It comes right over here. It comes out and it goes into this. It was strapped to this with these straps, but I pulled them off. It goes into this line. And then it goes nowhere. See? So it has a pump right there. That. I guess sucks the water out. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, that's what it does. It's called uh, an acorn system. Yeah. So, yes, see up there, look. There you go. It says condensate. You can't read it. It says condensate back in the system. Not only that, but there's no hot water anywhere nearby. I've got, um, I've got 250 or 300 foot of hose here. And the closest water is like 110 paces away, which is over 300 feet. So, how the hell do you fix something like this? Well, got a trash can, and I filled it with hot water, that is hot water. And I'm gonna take, uh, I got a little cup around here somewhere, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take scoops of it, and I'm gonna scoop it up, and I'm gonna let it kind of melt it. But then you, you run into the problem of, Where's the water gonna go? Looks like this is a sensor right here. I'm not too sure how these acorns work, but either way, we'll, you know, I can't run all that water and expect it to go through that system fairly quick without, uh, you know, the possibility of a bit overflowing and, and coming out at the top here or something. So, using what I can with the available things that are around here, I came up with something. I can use one of the, these aren't their normal shopping carts. These are carts that they use, uh, like in the back room for stocking. There's stocking shelves back here, see? They've got a taller level here, so I got their mop bucket. And then, you know, this is kind of it's pretty tight. You know, it doesn't really want to move. And then, so, over there in the corner, there's these little things. And they have a, a plug on the bottom of them. So I took one of those. Took one of those. Got the plug out. By shoving the broom down the opposite end. And popping the plug out. Then you can take it. And put it on there push it all the way up and kinda, it, it, it stays look at that it stays in place so I, now all I gotta worry about is um this bucket after I get like maybe five gallons of water with my hot water just make sure this doesn't overflow and then I gotta go dump this and then that'll work and then if that ain't bad enough the water drain issue when you start pouring your water up around there, then it starts rolling off the sides and, and making a, a big old bunch of water falling in here. And then there's no drain in here either. I mean, what you supposed to do? Well, you gotta use your head again. You use this shelf and those buckets. I'm gonna roll it under there and see, catch all the water that comes out. And then while, while it's still a slow process, getting water and Taking it up the ladder and trying to melt this big old hard ball of ice. At least now, at least now I got something to catch it. Yeah, so that is a little bit better. It could take a long time though. And I'm gonna have to dump all this water out when these get full, which will be annoying. 
in itself. And then also one of these fan blades is really messed up because you can probably hear that. It's all shaking and making this unit vibrate. I think it's the one on the end down there. It's all messed up. I think you can hear it better on startup. Yeah, you're dead. So, I gotta figure out what's going on with that fan blade over there, the motor. And after doing one of these, gotta climb up and down the ladder to get a scoop of that water. It took uh, that much ice off, which is more than I thought it would. So, that's how much ice came off with two little cup holes. And uh, if you let, have the fans running at the same time, it'll help. It helps melt it very slowly also, but it is a help. Okay, so after getting all the hot water out of that bucket, and scooping as much out as I can, that's how much ice I removed. And then, so the bucket was empty, so I was able to use the, the, the tra not bucket, trash can. I dumped all my full little tubs of water in my trash can okay. and then I got this also going on see I got some water filling up in there so I'm gonna I'm gonna take and re discard of all my water that's not hot anymore as I go get for as, as I go get my hot water and the hot water is way over there like on the other side of that store like way past those guys and this is where the where the hot water comes from. All the way on the opposite side of the store. Alright, so after two bucketfuls, a couple of two, three hours, and a bunch of pouring and hauling, I've gotten all the ice off the back. But now I, I still have the ice that's in here, so never forget about this. And then you also got ice on the side there. So to get this out, I'm gonna take the, the fan out so I can pull it out. Cool, so I got this fan out. I was able to manipulate that one out and the one that was over there out. But then I also got one, and you can't really see it. It's, it's back behind. Yeah, it's back behind the one on the left. That one's still pretty thick. I'm gonna have to take this one off. And you just take these four uh, nuts out, then you take the blue thing off, the fan shroud, and then there's two little, tiny little, Screws, not screws, nuts that hold uh, this this bracket in. Oh yeah, and in between those two steps I just said, you got to take a one eighth inch Allen wrench and loosen that. Sometimes they're really hard. Okay, get one of these. Get there in there. Anyways, you get the idea. And there's them two uh, nuts I was telling you about. Only those two things hold this in, and then, yeah, you get that big old glob of ice out of there. If you don't get all the ice out, it ain't gonna work. All right, well, I got uh, all the ice off, got it put together, and restarted. Really, the whole point of this video is I just wanted to show you my, my hack and what I did uh, regarding my drain and my water issue. So, hope you guys got any good ideas out of this. Learn something, and it helps you somewhere, somehow. So, thanks for watching.